what is up it is Bolin and I'm back once again with another little drama video for you well okay I just watched Sebastian Soto's video that he uploaded today now if you didn't see my last video on this whole Sebastian Soto situation then you might not know what happened to Sebastian Soto recently in one of his lives he was on one of his lives Sebastian Soto drama channel was on one of his lives where he was accepting callers to chat to on his live, you know. And now I like Sebastian Soto, right? I like his channel. I think he's got a good energy, you know. Nothing like offensive or nasty going on there. But Sebastian Soto got a caller on his live who basically was very rude to him, told him that he was going to be sued. And now today, Sebastian made another video talking about another Call that he'd have from this same person known only as Jen. Now Jen, I'm going to do that in quotation marks because this Jen person, there's been some speculation about who this Jen person is. A lot of people have been saying that they think it could be Trisha Paytas herself, they think it could be Trisha's mum, Trisha's sister. Um, people have said they thought it was Justice Taylor Beauty, like, which is completely random because Justice isn't even a drama channel. Justice is somebody who does makeup. I watch Justice Channel doing, like, fun stuff with makeup. Not even a drama channel at all. So, the person who called in, known as Jen, to Sebastian's live stream the other day, they had a ring on their ring finger. Sorry, this is my right hand. They had a ring on the ring finger. You can see, no rings on my ring finger, so go. It ain't me. But they had a ring on their ring finger and their fingers were quite sort of stubby. A bit like mine, but go, it's not me. But this person was offensive to Sebastian as well. They called him the F-slur. During Pride Month, girl, they called him the F-slur. They told him, like I said, that he was going to be sued. They said that drama channels like Rich Lux were going to be sued over the treatment of Trisha Paytas. Now, Trisha Paytas is, of course, pregnant right now. You know, so, you know, I really don't want to cause any stress to Trisha or anything like that. But the fact that this whole situation is going on is a little bit crazy. You know, poor Sebastian Soto has now had a second phone call from this caller known as Jen. And it sounds a bit like kind of cyber stalking, cyber bullying from what Sebastian said in his video. Like this person allegedly said to Sebastian on the second call, oh, um, why don't you go and walk your dog after your live? So it's like somebody's watching Sebastian. Really creepy, really, really creepy. Then this is what happened. Hello. Hi, Sebastian. Hello. Hi, Sebastian. This is Jennifer again. I want to speak to you because I don't like what's going on. I don't like the lies that are out there. I don't like what you're putting on behind the scenes. I don't like how you're telling Rich and your friends that you're getting threatening messages that you can't even prove. Like, what's the problem with you? I, I told you what the situation was. Your day in court is coming really soon. Richard's day is coming really soon. And your fat friend's day is coming really soon. So I don't see what the problem is. I mean, why are you dragging this out? Do you need sympathy? And I did not say go hump your mother. I said go hug your mother. Hug. Okay? Hey, look, I'm just going to tell you one time. You need a hobby. You need a life. Yeah? And you need I to do. You know what my hobby is? is? You know what my hobby is? Bringing your fat ass down, you fucking <laughs> Okay? That's you, my hobby, is to fucking end help. your fucking YouTube career. You need you're not going to do what you think you've been doing for the last fucking several months to a pregnant woman who's about to give birth in two fucking months. I pray for you and your sanity. Goodbye. Moses, shut up. Moses, shut up. I wanted to literally just go to my bed and cry. I continued my life because I know how much you guys have been so loving it and I don't want to let you ever down. But of course I was very disheveled. This person decided 
to start threatening me and saying these things. I don't know where I'm going to put it. Maybe here. So then they proceeded to say things like, hey, why don't you walk your dog after this stream? You're done, buddy. That's a threat. So I genuinely feel for Sebastian right now because those are, as he said, threats. He's receiving actual threats like go. He is receiving actual threats. People saying that they're going to watch him. Oh, why don't you go out to walk the dog? You know, like that's quite serious stuff. You know, to me, if somebody says that to me, like I would be worried that somebody was going to come out and try and like stab me or something because that person saying, oh, I can't wait to pull up on you. Like, girl, that is a threat. That is a threat. Honestly, after now listening to Sebastian's video today, watching that video, and listening to that Jen person call in a second time, after that now, I don't know if it was Trisha. You know, I'm not so sure that I think it was her anymore. I actually think it was like some deranged fan or something like in the nicest possible way I think it was some kind of deranged fan possibly like sticking up for Trisha or thinking that they're sticking up for Trisha but really like they didn't expect people to make videos about it sticking up for Sebastian I think I don't know but like I don't think they expected people to stick up for Sebastian you know I think that they expected people to be like oh yeah well done Jen you know but instead drama channels are kind of sticking together and being like you know no that's no way to talk to somebody I just feel so bad for Sebastian because he was talking about, you know, being fat shamed, being called the F slur and all of this stuff. And, you know, I know what things like that are like, you know, those are things that I've experienced in my life. Not the F slur for gay men, but, you know, being called fat. I've been, you know, called the D word for lesbians, you know, when I've been with a partner in the street and things like that, you know. So I've experienced homophobia and stuff like that myself as well. But... You know, I could see that Sebastian was upset in his video and I genuinely feel sorry for him and nobody should be spoken to the way that Sebastian's being spoken to. Sebastian's channel is not hateful. He's just literally spilling the tea, you know, kind of gossipy. Um, but he does like pop culture videos, you know, like he'll have videos about Britney Spears or, you know, something random like that, like pop culture stuff like maybe Perez Hilton would back in the day but Sebastian isn't nasty like Perez Hilton was you know it's just like light-hearted you know it's nothing threatening or anything like that Sebastian is very kind of light-hearted upbeat and I was just like girl he does not deserve to be threatened like this no so the eyes looking a little bit draggy but that's what I want you know kind of cut crease draggy style and I'm using my favorite palette ever ever of course to do my purple pride look i have to use my favorite favorite purple palette the bloodlust palette sorry excuse my palette being in a mess because well girl she's got dense dings because she's used loved and adored by me but yeah i was like damn sebastian really is getting threatened and it it sucks you know it sucks i was just like no he doesn't deserve it absolutely does not like girl you know i can't wait to pull up on you like what even is that some kind of gangster type shit i was like nah i didn't know that people even actually spoke like that in real life well i know it's the internet but you know what i mean i was like mm. some some gang shit but, you know, I just hope that this doesn't affect Sebastian, really, because Sebastian seems like a really lovely guy. And honestly, like, he said something in his video today, you know, that I actually thought about. He said something, 
you know, about he hopes everybody who even has a bit uh, different opinion to him or maybe doesn't even particularly like him is welcome over on his channel and all of that, you know, and I want to extend that over here on my channel as well, you know. I might have had my beefs with, like, certain drama channels in the past or whatever, but honestly, like, it doesn't matter if you have a different opinion to mine, you know, you're still welcome to come over here and get the tea or whatever from me if you want, you know, it doesn't matter to me if you've got a different opinion or if you don't like Jeffree Star or, you know, you don't like people that I like or whatever, it doesn't matter to me, it really does not matter. You know, I'm here for a laugh, I'm here for anyone who wants to sit and catch up on the tea, do a bit of makeup, you know, and just kind of keep it light-hearted. I'm here for anyone who wants to do that, you know. Anyone who wants to come hang out, do that, then that's what I'm here for. Okay, my loves, I am going to go and actually finish up this look so I can post it, and I will see you guys very soon but please let me know what you think about all the drama going on with Sebastian Soto and this person who's either pretending to be Trisha because you know at the end of their phone call there with Sebastian they did say shut up Moses so this person is either pretending to be Trisha or they want everybody to think that they're Trisha girl let me know what you think about that and I will see you guys very soon on the next one. Take care of yourselves. Stay safe. Stay well. Love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.